Hey everybody, this is Bigwigs, and welcome to East Origin! Game on Steam. Mm, also, I think on the PlayStation 2. But we're gonna not think about that. This is a... ARPG beat-em-up thingamajigger with multiple different characters that you kind of forced to play through as... It's a good game. We'll choose classic character, Unica. And then you have several increasingly impossible challenges. We'll do normal just because we're probably not going to beat this whole game. Do I have this on French language? We're going to give it a moment just to see if it comes up with more French. Fuck it, no we're not. <laughs> I just had to wait one second more. Na, 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 skipping because of copyright strike stuff. Da, da, da. Yes, my whole life I've never been able to use magic. I feel the exact same way. I mean, we're slowly diverging on our opposite pathways here, but I feel like I can really relate. No, that, we're we're pretty different now. Would love to skip this. We could also just watch it, though. Great sound quality so far. Yeah. Fina. Oh, it sort of starts us in some immediate res BS nonsense. Maybe. I, did, I skipped the cutscenes. Um... If you've never heard of East before, it's actually a fairly widespread RPG genre, not art genre, but series. It has, like, eight games in the series. Something ridiculous like that. This is the Origins. It sort of starts off at everything. It's not the first one, that I should mention, but it's it's a imagining of the Origins of which the first one takes place. I couldn't care less. I, I, I could... Is it I couldn't care less about the story, or I could care less? No, I couldn't care less. I could care less is the wrong one that pisses a lot of people off, including myself, because that means that you could care less. You could actually care a less amount than you should, so you care a little bit. Rota Tree. I would... I'd like to... I forgot that there was like a, like some cutscene-ness going on here. Tova! That's her last name. That's why I wanted to play this game. Because I never heard her last name was Tova, which reminds me of Tova Keen. Alright, I know most of the story, so we're just gonna skip through all of this until I can get to it. I wish I could skip the tree's answers. Tova Keen. I'll stop saying it every time I see it. I can't say it every time I see it. They say it a lot. Don't care about this. It... I mean, I didn't see him die, but he's probably dead. Maybe I can remember what the story was. Story was that uh, a bunch of people living on the ground were worshipped two goddesses that sort of came down from the sky and gave them everything they could ever ask for. You know, riches, stuff like that. Especially that a lot of them to mine a certain material, you know, god material, whatever it's called, from the earth. Everything was great and awesome until demons showed out of nowhere and killed everybody. In order for them to all escape, they flew up high into the sky on a magical floating island with their two goddesses, and they've been there ever since, worried about being attacked by demons. This story, though, takes place on the ground. Uh, a group of soldiers, or their goddess gets kidnapped. That's what happens. Or maybe it's like a goddess's artifact gets kidnapped. Some crazy BS thing. Something very precious is kidnapped from the Sky Tower. And a group of people come down to this lower area filled with demons in hell. To uh, find it. And to rescue it. 
with enunciation. Must be uh, <laughs> ordinary outside world. Shorting down. It seems a little ridiculous. It's like, I don't have any magic, and people look down on me because of that. But also, I can use magic still. We we'll might be able to get to that point. Ooh. Such fantastic graphics. Skip. This whole game takes inside this tower and not this tower entrance, this tower. I guess I think if I remember the reason the tower was like this, it was because demons were trying to um build up into the whole floating aisle. They're building up to the tile. Floating island. Isle. Isle three. If only we had more people here. We're being attacked. Oh no, save us. Oh, we're gonna get you the gameplay this time. The Tovakin! At your service! For a second, I think I said, do what you can with these breasts. But then, he, and then I. Then I felt like ashamed of myself and realized my mistake. Now we have gameplay, I think. And this is the tutorial. Um, it does, I'm using a controller, and you can use a controller. It just doesn't tell you any of the problems for a controller. Um, so attack is pretty basic. I'm pretty sure it's just A, or maybe it's B, or maybe it's... I don't know. X is one of those face buttons, too. And then jump slash is a combination of those two. Launch attack. Attack immediately after coming to a stop. Lunges forward for my promise last. Randomly lowers target's defense. <laughs> you can see there, jump slash, attack while... During the ascent of a jump while moving. Attack during the ascent of a jump while stationary. Uh, we'll figure it out. Alright. B is jump, A is attack. There we go. And we can just mash the button to attack. Then numbers fly up. The experience of no, 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 no. Just bathe me in it. What is boost mode? How is it used? Press the boost key. I don't know what the boost key is. But you get boosted. Skill cost has as much MP to use. You can take only half damage when hit. I don't I don't know what <laughs> I don't know what that means. I mean, I don't really need to be worry about it because I'm just so incredibly powerful already. But whatever. Whatever, mate. And there's your tutorial. That was exhausting. I could have done that for hours, though. Father Superior? Who the fuck's named their child Superior? I'm Dino. Eola. Eola. Uh, uh. I type here with my bell. It's literally getting it. Ah, I see. The Tovakin here has uh, problems. They're just saying, we landed here. What happened? They're saying the reason they're from the, they're in this tower is because whatever fucked up their landing in the first place probably came from this tower. So apparently their goddesses are here. We must and find search party. Asshole. That's the part of Rise Team. Watch live. Nope. I'm I'm like actually not gonna do that.
Betty's just saying, don't let me stay here, let me do recon. You take this with you. This is how you save your game. Wow, just like that, it's become diamond. We can now take this and be rich! So that's how you save. Look for creepy statues and touch them with your magic crystal. Don't remember what this one does. Okay, so there's a communication device. Ah. Neato. Okay, some more text. Conversations about Unica, the Tova Keen herself. We're free! We can kill everybody now. I didn't save. Wait a minute. Look at my EXP percentages. Right there on the bottom. It just constantly goes up. It should be noted that, um... I had no idea it just constantly went up. Is that a mistake? Also, our combo affects our own experience meter. There we go. Yeah, our combos affect our experience meter a lot. Which means that the more damage we do, just the more EXP we get. Very nice. Don't remember what that does. It's probably just heal status effects. Not a big deal. Um, unlike most JRPGs, this is a... There isn't, like, a party system to deal with. You're not gonna have, like, allies you have to worry about as you fight. This is actually... It's more of a character action game than anything else. Maybe. But sort of... It's a JRPG disguised in a character action game. Or maybe it's the other way around. Smash. Also a beat -em up and yes, you will. I'm not sure if you can hear me just mashing the A button, but up, it's getting mashed. Make no mistake. There's a serious amount of mashing going on here. I kind of want to just stand here and see if I'll just passively level up. But then I had to like fill the whole time of like seconds. Oh, so you won't level up until you probably kill something. Some people might be wondering, is this fun, mashing the A button? I find it immensely fun. Like, it's a shocking amount of fun. This is my experience is at 100. Or maybe it's my EX bar. Like, with my boost mode. The Holy Artifacts of Ys. Flabellum. Now I have skills. The fault to see key. No, there's so much power in this thing. Yeah, she says it immediately. Oh, I don't have any magic, man. Square button. That's fucking magic, yo. It's awesome too. Whoopa, whoopa. Game also have. Most of the combat mechanics have already been explained by this game, by the way. But I want to get to the first boss, at least. Because the bosses are... They're sort of the interesting thing. They're breaks from the norm of the regular combat, where you have to actually know where your character is and learn their movesets and all sorts of amazing things, Click. Starring Adam Sandler. Boop, boop. This and there's platforming. Oh god! 
There is definitely platforming in this game. It's a very good game. I like it a lot. I'm very good at platforming. As you can tell. Oh, that's... That's reassuring. You can glide with your skill, by the way. MP recharges by itself. I think. Yeah, use that little green bar there on the bottom. It looks like what your blue health should be. Or your blue bar should be, but it's actually the green bar. Yeah, you are encouraged. Spam's the wrong word, but you're encouraged to use it a lot. Also, you get fully healed. Maybe slow. It's pretty nice. And this should be a boss. Gasp. I'm being sucked in. Oh, it'll be a boss when I get back there. I never understood the concept of, oh, this trap's teleported me. How awful. Why don't you bear the trap? Like, killed you or something. Hmm. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm an idiot, but... I feel like it'd just be better if the trap killed you. No, you, sir. Be gone, sir. Be gone. Yay. This game's fun. It's got a very, uh... Dynasty Warriors slash... I, I would say it's a very Kingdom Hearts style feeling game where it's a very simple combat system, but it just kind of feels good. And there's actually, uh... How was it? It's... East 1 and 2 in a bundle on Steam, which I haven't played because they're extraordinarily old school. They're like 80s old school. And they're weird, and they were originally on the PC, I think, as well, so. It's just, they're a bit too old school for me, but East Oath and Felgana, East Origins, which is this one, and what is it? East Arc of Naphtism? Uh, I don't know what nepotism is, but those are all those three that I just mentioned are all very much like this. Especially these origins. These origins is very much like these origins. They're all just super good. There's just like a whole little thing on them. You know, just nice to see like oh I like this style of game. There's lots of these games out there. What the hell was that? What a minute. Oh, I remember. No, it wasn't this game. It was East, East Arc of Navitism. Because I've, I've played all of the East games now. And you'll probably at some point see all of them at one point or another come up onto the channel. As like little one-off things. Or maybe as live stream things. Because they're only like... 10 hours long each? They're very, they're a good dis like length for the game. I don't think it overstays their welcome unless you really, really, really want to grind. We're doing okay. I'm just slowing this downward because I want to know what I can find. I'm just picking all this stuff up just so I can... Yeah. Yeah, it looks like we can just continue on forward. Yeah, if you have an old PSP, I would actually highly recommend picking up uh, East 7. I'm not sure they made a new East game after 7. But it's got... 
incredible, like, sound. Like, the music in it is stunningly good. And the music in this one is pretty good. Especially for a game I don't think a lot of people have heard about. But, um... In 7, it's just, like, out of control good. Nerds off. There we go. Looks like we're gonna be okay. It's on normal mode. If it was on hard mode, I'd be a bit more worried. Actually, that's not even true. The different difficulty levels of this game exist purely on the base of um, enemies hit harder and you do less damage, and that's it. I think you might get some minor bonuses and, like, things you pick up if you do hard difficulties. But it's mostly just enemies that hard you do less damage, which means you have to grind for experience more if you want to do better in the game. So the games just take longer when you have them in harder difficulty modes, because nothing else changes. You could argue that you have to be a lot better at the game in order to make that work out, but, you know, shit happens. Very high level. Yeah, on normal mode, it just sort of feels like as long as you clear out the rooms appropriately, like how I'm doing, you're going to be at a just not fine enough level. There we go. There we go. <gasps> it's a secret. That wasn't so secret. Ooh. I forgot I had jump pads. Yeah, I really like East Origins. I think out of all of them, I like East Origins the most. Secrets. Emerald. Yay, got power increase. For my windmill skill. My windmill skill? Whirlwind skill. Some people call it. It does actually do a lot to explore all the areas, because I picked up something called the Rota Fruit a while ago, and I didn't explain anything at all about it. Because I just sort of forgot to. Rota Fruit, if you give it to a Rota, I think that's what they're called, they'll give you, uh, items and... Not skills, it's mostly items that'll increase your attack power and defense by a significant portion. Which is much better than leveling up. So the game is almost balanced around the fact that when you get to the boss, you need to have... You need to have explored everything. Which I like because I do explore everything. Blue Moon Crest. Yep. Hey, you! You're a demon that I feel threatened by you. I think you're kind of adorable. I think you just answered your question. The ruse! Yes, I'm hungry. Yes, I know. Give it a road of fruit. Now give me amazingness! There we go. Yeah, they give me things like Clary Aura, which increases the strength of my axe. Yay, now I deal more damage. It's all really basic stuff like that, but it's it feels very good from a... I don't know, from a gameplay standpoint, just like, oh, I explored everything. Now I am significantly more powerful. Yay. Power. Power flows through me. If you're wondering, like, maybe we'll see some new gameplay, or it's all been seen. Just this, plus 10 hours. 
Maybe nine and a half if we can get to the uh, the boss. I would really like to get to the boss. That would make me feel good. Where the fuck did I come from? Let's get a wreck, nerd. I thought it was this way, but I might be entirely mistaken. Yeah, it was the room that I came from had the uh, weird, peculiar shaped thingamajigger. The blue moon crest is for. So now we're just running all the way back through. Um, experience. Da -na -na -na. I love this shit. I'm so into this right now. Touch you. I will save. No, this is... It says here I've played for 16 hours and I'm level 2. That's just because I'm using a different character. So. There we go. Let's play it for 16 minutes. I'm on search party base. So. Whoops. Yeah, it's just a different character. Kachong. Seems safe. Whoop! I sir, kind of want to hit nothing but net there, but whatever. Now this is the boss. Oh. Yes, yes, we have people here. Yes, yeah, spirited girl. Uh, excuse me. I'm sorry, Rep, but you're not from the search party. If not, you might want to get out of here. This tower is a pretty dangerous place to be. What a nice person. Wow, how rude. Tova. Yes, I'm sure. Yeah, it gets really creepy pretty quickly, doesn't it? Now, let's see if I remember how to fight this guy. I got a feeling I don't. Oh, God! I can't remember if you can use your power to hit him while he's like that. You got a little health bar up there. Oh, yeah, you can use your skill to dash through the bats, I think. Oh, God! The, the bats is what's going to kill you. I'm just going to be honest. Yeah, getting in two full combos is just a little bit too... Oh god! Whoo! Yeah, we'll be fine though. Ah, oh, that might be a problem. Oh, God. Yeah, I forgot about this bit. Oh, God. 
it's all oh, my health is very low. Oh my god, I got wrecked! Alright, we'll try harder this time. Do, we'll do better this time. Oh god damn it, just get away from me. Fucking hell! Got my bitch ass annihilated. Yeah. I'm trying to get the two hits of combos in because it, it feels like there's just enough time to do it, but there really isn't. So we'll just have to. Uh, Uh, we'll have to do this for a little bit. This boss battle is really just teaching you about being a little bit patient. Bitch! Go boost mode on his ass. I don't think boost mode did anything. One more hit from his punch and I'm dead. God, fuck off forever. Worked out. I did it with the power of magic. Why are we capture two incredibly powerful goddesses? Please be a safe point, like right down here. Oh, look at you! The bronze key. Mask of Eyes. Hold on. What's the button for pause? Oh yeah, it's like right stick is the button for pause. Now the mess loves where to see hidden passage objects but hides living creatures. Yeah, this is a creepy thing just because it shows you a whole bunch of secrets, but then you can't see anything else. Whatever. We're going to save here, and we're going to end it here. And we're at the, the exact same point as my other guy. He's level 2. And I'm level 5. Whatever! I want to thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day, and... Goodbye!